I had a lot of pain in this, this hip, mm -hmm. and then it would radiate across the lower part of the back. One to ten, how bad was that pain? Um, that one was about an eight. Eight. Especially if I walked. Oh, exactly, yeah. Uh, and it was getting so that I couldn't even walk a block. Yeah, and what did you notice? Uh, how was he doing before the surgery regarding the daily activity? He was slowing down. Yeah, okay. So he, he was a struggle, everything was a struggle. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. now we put you through investigation. We noticed you have a sacroiliac disease. And we noticed that actually you have that problem on both sides, but which side was worse? The, the, and the, what? the left side was worse. Mm -hmm. And that is why we decided to fix your left sacroiliac right. joint. And now, here it is. This is the picture that we got today. And okay. we put two screws in through your sacroiliac joint. They are perfectly positioned. And look at this picture. Exactly stopping where it needs to stop, but it grabbed the hard part of the bone here. If you look at here, exactly. This is this screw. And then the other screw, if you look carefully, here it almost looks like you I could put a little longer screw in, but if you look at the other picture, it exactly stopped where it needs to stop. So this is perfect picture, okay? And uh, now more importantly is how you are doing. Now, how bad is your pain now? Like you said, about three. About three. So right. you are getting significantly better already within a month. There's right. still some activity I can imagine is painful that, you know, if you do too much, your body will let you know, mm -hmm. okay? But how is walking going these days? Um, I don't do too much walking. Mm -hmm. uh, last week, I started to go outside, mm -hmm. and I would use crutches, and then I started to use a walker. Yeah, yeah. And um, Obviously, we tell you not to put full pressure on the left side for a while. Right. And now you told me something about your right side. Can you tell me that again? And, and um, the right side, the, the leg is starting to mm -hmm. go numb. Yeah, yeah. A little bit. And, um, no, and in, what you're describing is actually, unfortunately, to, not unusual. Because yeah. you have two sacroiliac joints. Obviously, we are telling you not to put full pressure on the left side, so you're going to put more pressure on the right side. And that sometimes, that side complains more. And because the joint is irritated, actually sometimes, as well the nerve that goes down the leg is irritated. So people can have back pain on the other side and even pain going down the leg on the other side. But the idea is once the left side start healing better, actually both sides get better because now all of a sudden you can use more the left side, so that takes the pressure on the side that we didn't we didn't do the surgery. But in half of the cases, we have to go and finish up the job and finish and uh, as well treat the other side as well. But we never decide that just one month after the surgery. We give it at least three to four months before we decide on the other side. Okay. So, but you know, you are typical. Your presentation is typical, and obviously, you know, I, how old are you? May I ask how old you are? Seventy-two. So you see, as well, bones sometimes just take longer when we are in that age group to heal. So just give yourself a little time and, you know, just uh, take care of yourself. Avoid, your body will let you know when you can do more. You yeah. just have to listen yeah. to it. Yeah. I reached the house to put on my socks and yeah. shoes. Yeah, because we tell you not bend, twist and things well, like that, yeah. I've been able to get in and out of the shower by myself. Mm -hmm. huh? Excellent, excellent. So you are, you told me uh, you're already noticing some improvement since the, uh, the surgery and you know, overall, what would you say, what percentage of the symptoms are gone that you had before the surgery? Like, um, how much can you do more and how much less do you have pain but comparing your self situation now, one month after the surgery, to one month before the surgery, what would you say? Oh, big improvement. Big improvement, <laughs> excellent. And, and, you know, except for, I've been swollen on the last four weeks. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, you, you know? had the surgery, obviously. Yeah. Now, how long did you stay in the hospital after the surgery? Um, 
from the time of surgery in the morning, uh, they discharged me about four o'clock in the afternoon. So you went home same day? Yeah. You didn't we, stay in the hospital. And your surgery was actually less than half an hour. That's yeah, all what we, it was. We, we stayed overnight in Crookston, mm -hmm. you know, an extra night. Yeah, but you weren't in the hospital anymore. No. Which is extremely important with the COVID and with the, that reduces your risk of exposure, obviously. So what do you notice since the surgery, how he's doing? Uh, Are you happy with him so far? Yeah. Oh, good, good. <laughs> well, thank you so much for the interview. I appreciate mm -hmm. that.